Hi guys, it's Huff. I am back again and this is going to be an update for my Project Pan Eyeliner Edition. Um, I am attempting to use up 16 eyeliner products of various types over the course of 2016. Um, I've been a bit slack about updating this. I haven't actually updated this since the beginning of February and we are now at the end of March. <laughs> so, been a bit slack. However, I do have good news. I actually finished a product. So I had already finished the Nikki K eyeliner, which was kind of like a bonus one, technically the 17th, but we won't worry about that. But I finished off the Rimmel London, London Exaggerate Waterproof uh, Eye Definer in Deep Wine, which you'll probably get a teeny tiny Um, it sort of looks a bit like that, but it's completely flat and scratches my eye if I try to use it. And that's all, all used up. So that's really good. You will see that in an empties video shortly. So I'm really happy with that. I actually made progress. Yay! So to all of the other things uh, that I didn't necessarily make as much progress on, there's little bits of progress. So we will just work our way through the list. The first one is the Anoxa Liquid Eyeliner in purple. I'm actually wearing this today, but it turns out that it's, is it there? Um, turns out that this like doesn't really show up very well. Um, it kind of looks like I'm not wearing any eyeliner, but I actually am wearing it on my upper eyelid. It's not very dark. It doesn't show up very well. Um, then we have the Alme Liquid Eyeliner in Black Brown. I haven't actually used this one um, this month. That's what it looks like. So it's really almost black. Um, I'm trying to use up another one that I've got in another project, which is why I haven't really busted this one out yet. Um, the NYX Liquid Eyeliner in Electric Blue which I did actually try to use and I don't know if you can see but it's gone it's it's not working hugely well um, I will try to use it again and if it doesn't work the next time I use it like if I'm just finding it too hard then I will count that one as done um, the Natio liquid eyeliner in plum black I did actually use this and I was basically really upset with it and really disappointed it's kind of yucky looking apart from anything else it's supposed to be kind of like a purpley browny color um but the the wandy thing it's if it would focus it's sort of like a brush but like the tip is stuck together and the rest of it's kind of like splays out and it's really hard to get like a fine line like when you if you put any pressure on it just flattens out and goes weird and it is really liquidy um which means it's really hard to like although it looks really dark there this is more how it ends up on the eye so i'm really not particularly um, impressed with this it may be another one that I just end up loving which was a lot of the reason that I did this is to work out whether I liked things or not and if I didn't like them then get rid of them no point having them if you're not going to use them um, the next one is the bourgeois liner clubbing bronze dance floor um, I think I used this like once it's like a greeny sort of color it at least is nice and fluid and is easier to apply. Then we have the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in Stardust, which is the glittery one. I have used this once or twice, um, so you're not going to be able to notice any difference in it anyway. Um, it just gives a nice little bit of sparkle to the eyelid. Then we have the Colour Bucket Gel Liner in Orange. I'm not going to wind this thing up because it takes forever. I've used this once um, and 
basically there's been no obvious difference in it when I measured it earlier so um, yeah even though I used it once it's actually really hard to use because it is like orange orange <laughs> I'm not I'm trying to work out the best way to use it I'm thinking I might actually try and use it as an eye break base even though it's a gel um, and then put like a color over it because it's bright orange and it just looks yeah and like we're coming into winter so it might not be the best time to be trying to use it anyway then we have the three from lol we have the first prize which is a gold um, I have used this a few times I tend to use it on the waterline um, it, even though I've used it a few times there's no difference on my little charty thing when I measured it this morning there was no visible difference on that one um, the same with Casper which is the white one which I'm actually I wore like yesterday right um, I've used it a few times in my waterline but again it doesn't look like it's going anywhere they're actually quite firm pencils so they're not like super creamy or anything and the third one is the black one, which I actually haven't used because I have other black one, another black one that I'm using, or a couple that I'm using. So this one is kind of, you know, for later on when I've finished. Um, the random black eyeliner that came in some kitty thing, I have actually used this. In fact, I only used it like twice and... Um, that's where I started and that's where I am now the bottom line there so that was like one sharpening it's a tiny bit of progress but it is still progress then we have the Avon Glimstick in Cosmic Brown I let's go work out which one that is I have used this a couple of times so there has been a little bit of um, progress so that top line is where I started under the 12th, um, that was on the 3rd and of February and that is where we are now. Honestly I haven't worn makeup a whole pile in the last month or two so that's why there's not been huge progress. Um, the Rimmel um, Exaggerate in Steel which is the same as the wine one just in grey. Um, I use this quite a bit to tight line, but even so, there is not um, a huge amount of progress. Um, the top line there, under the 14, is where we started, and that's about where we are now. So there's progress, just not huge progress. And lastly, the two... Uh, Revlon Grow Luscious Eyeliners, one's in Onyx, one's in uh, Espresso. Um, both of them have been sharpened once in the last nearly two months. So that one there is Onyx, and as you can see, there is a little tiny bit of movement. That was the first, that's where we started. Last update, this update, and in the Espresso one, that's where we are now. So not a huge amount of product progress but I did use up one pro product so that's a good thing um, again if I wore makeup more often I would probably use it up faster and if I wasn't trying to use up another liquid eyeliner I probably would have made more progress too because I've been working on that one because it's in my project tent pan so um, yeah so that is my update for my project pan eyeliner edition if you want to subscribe then click the button down there leave me a thumbs up if you like project pan type videos and leave me a comment down below i try to respond to all comments and i'll see you in my next video see ya